Welcome to the How to Read a Hydraulic Schematic series. In this first video, we will be going over the basics of motors and pumps. At first glance, the symbol for a pump and the symbol for a motor can appear nearly identical. They both have a circle, drive shaft, and arrows. However, the key is in the details. Let's dive in and see what each of these things mean. The circle can indicate either a pump or motor, or even some kind of sensor. The drive shaft indicates a, wait for it, drive shaft. What? Having a drive shaft means this either has to be a motor or pump and not a sensor. The final indicator of whether this is a pump or motor is the arrows. In hydraulic schematics, arrows indicate the direction of flow. Conceptually, a pump pushes out flow and a motor receives flow. So the arrows on a pump point outward and the arrows on a motor point inward. In practice, motors and pumps both have flow traveling in and out of them. But for the purposes of the schematic, just remember a pump pushes outflow and a motor receives flow. There may only be a single arrow, or there may be two. A single arrow shows that the motor or pump can only operate in the direction shown, while two arrows show that it is bidirectional and can operate in either direction. A diagonal arrow through the symbol means that the pump or motor is variable or that it can be adjusted. There may also be a dashed line that indicates either a case drain or pilot line. The quick way to decipher a case drain line is by looking where it goes. If it runs straight from your pump or motor to your tank, it is a case drain. By the way, this little symbol means reservoir or tank. However, if it runs back to the pump or to a valve, it is a pilot line. If you are interested in seeing more hydraulic schematic videos, hit that subscribe button and check out this playlist.